economies right now, the world is in an unprecedented state vis-a-vis -vis interest rates. Um, uh, historically, you know, interest rates have been uh, coming down for thousands of years, but the fact of the matter is uh, only in recent history have we seen zero interest rates, negative interest rates, um, the, uh, you know, one of the largest, most stable debtors in the world is uh, the U.S. Treasury, and, uh, you know, the, uh, the shape of that financing curve is largely determined by decisions made by uh, the Federal um, Open Market Committee at the Fed. And so uh, we do see these, you know, beautiful numbers, and we, we really saw some amazing fireworks around the FOMC decisions uh, for the past, you know, five or six years now, um, longer even. And so um, FOMC just deserves, uh, you know, uh, an important um, uh, important recognition uh, when we're talking about events. Uh, the slide we're looking at is, uh, is election uh, eve. Uh, it was election day and into the next day when uh, we saw major indices uh, sell off and recover. Um, very, very large motion. And um, as has become almost de rigueur, the, uh, the effects were not what was predicted at all vis-a-vis -vis binary um, events and uh, who was going to be elected and binary outcomes, what was going to happen to the market should that be the case. So, um, uh, you know, uh, the election eve is a great example of, uh, you know, of how events are, to my perception of markets, a, um, uh, an opportunity, a catalyst for pent-up supply and demand. 